everybody. Thanks for joining me. Um, today I am going to be talking about something that I have waited for for a long time. As soon as I saw the original photo, um, I saw it on Trend Moon, I'm sure it started somewhere else, of this highlighter, I was so excited um, because it immediately compared it to the Estee Lauder Heat Wave, which is like my favorite highlighter of all time. So today we are going to be talking about the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter and this is what it looks like and in that very first photo that I saw on Trend Mood it was posted with um, Estee Lauder Heat Wave next to it. If you don't know what Estee Lauder Heat Wave looks like, it looks like this and if you're not familiar with this product, um, this is a discontinued product. It's been gone for a while now. Um, I actually have a funny story about mine. I missed it when it was at Estee Lauder and um, I actually found mine at a CCO and got a really good deal. I mean, they were already selling on eBay for like $150 each. And I just found a small little stack of them at a local CCO and I grabbed two. I grabbed one in a backup and left the rest for other people to find. So this is one of my favorite highlighters. Um, since it is discontinued, I don't use it all the time, but this is definitely, this is like my go-to like special occasion. If I'm traveling somewhere, um, which the only reason I travel with it is because I do have a backup. If it breaks, it's not a big deal. Um, but this is just like my go-to. I don't use... Or I have never used this little sponge that it came with um, but I, I just love this one and I know there's a lot of others and I'm gonna have some comparison swatches here today um, but for, nothing has ever been this one to me this one just has that extra bit I don't want to say glitter because it's not like particles of glitter but it just has this extra sparkle that I don't get from any of my other gold highlighters so Let's get to swatches. I've been wearing Estee Lauder on my left cheek and um, Rodeo Drive on my right cheek um, on and off for a little over a week now because I just really wanted to have a true opinion. I didn't just want to swatch these and say, oh, it's a dupe. Because um, like I said, Estee Lauder is one of my favorite highlighters of all time. And there are several swatches online of things that they say dupe it. Um, and, and I just don't agree with any of those. These are my thoughts, my opinions, and here we go. Estee Lauder Heat Wave. If you swatch this, this is a very, um, it's very hard. I don't want to say baked, but it, it, it's a hard highlighter. Um, so this is what it swatches. And it's just gorgeous, right? I mean, I did, you know, run my finger over that several times. But it just has this gorgeous color to it. I will say the biggest difference between Estee Lauder Heat Wave and the Ofa Rodeo Drive is the formula. These swatch very similarly, and you can make them look almost identical on your cheeks. But you are going to treat these two products very differently. Ofra formula I would say is much softer is the word I'm going to use. Um, you can get a lot of kick up with this one that I don't get as much on Heat Wave um, and, and, and I'm very careful when I'm dipping my brush into this one. So this one I'm just going to barely do a circle. Like you can feel the softness of this one compared to that one. And so because of that you get more pick up than you do with Heat Wave. So there is Ofra Rodeo Drive. So you can see, you can definitely call those a dupe. I will say from my experience from wearing these that on the cheek it is very much a dupe, but when you apply them differently. If you applied them exactly the same, they're gonna look different. So the way I've been applying my Estee Lauder Heat Wave is kind of the way I've always applied it. With a brush like this is these, the Anastasia A23 brush. And so I will like typically just kind of like brush it all over. Like I said, this is a very hard highlighter. And then I will do my, I kind of start with a line and then I blend out. And then that's the look that you get. As you can see, it's a beautiful highlighter. Um, I normally blend a little bit more, but in these lights, you can really tell that it's a gorgeous highlighter. So let me clean my brush off. 
With the Rodeo Drive, I'm simply going to like touch the brush twice and then apply the same way. And you can see you get the same effect. Now, keep in mind, I'm applying using just a viewfinder of a camera, so I probably did not get them applied exactly the same. On the cheek, I don't think you can really tell the difference between these two. I will tell you, if you brush, if you swirled this brush in here and put this on, you're going to have one of those crazy see it from the stars highlight because there is going to be so much product picked up on this. So be careful with this formula unless you just really want that holy crap, there it is highlight. Um, in my, this is about as far as I go. And yes, this looks much more dramatic on camera than it does in person. Um, just because I have these this giant light in front of me. I am so excited that this is a dupe and that I don't have to kind of cherish my heat wave like I have been. And the other great thing about this is I bought my heat waves before um, I went cruelty free and Ofra is considered a cruelty free brand. So I'm so excited that there is a current cruelty free dupe to my favorite highlighter of all time. Um, let me give you guys a couple more swatches here just to compare to other products that you may be familiar with. This is Mac O oh Darling. Again, this was Heatwave, this is Rodeo Drive, this is Mac O'Darling. Like I said, a lot of other gold highlights have the same coloring, but so far I would say Rodeo Drive has the same effect, is the closest to having the same effect that Estee Lauder Heatway gives. Um, I don't know what it is, it's something about the shimmer particle that they use that I just think that's the closest so far. And then this is Laura Geller Gilded Honey. So I absolutely understand if you are not into makeup that you are looking at my hand right now and saying, why on earth do you need all four of those because they look identical because color wise and through a camera i can agree with you but i will say application and wear and the way it looks in person out in the sunlight um they do they do look different um and even just here in person when i look at them i can see a difference um i'm trying to think of a good way to explain this um oh darling's definitely a little bit darker um, I do think Heat Wave is just the ever, 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 ever so slightly lighter, like a tension, like when I stare them down and study them for five minutes, lighter than Rodeo Drive. But like I said, I, that doesn't translate to my skin. I, I have been walking around for a week with two different highlighters, one on each cheek, and nobody said anything, nobody's noticed, I haven't noticed in a mirror. I sit there and stare and try to see if I can tell a difference and I really can't. Um, Gilded Honey has a way of kind of just, I want to say it, it kind of melts into the skin a little bit more. It, um, I don't really know how to say so if that's your thing you, you may like that formula better I kind of like the way heat wave and rodeo drive sparkle on the cheeks without being like chunks of glitter that's just my preference for like a special occasion there is my review and my dupe um, I'm gonna call it a dupe I think rodeo drive is a great cruelty free dupe to Estee Lauder Heat Wave. And I am just so, so excited because like I said, this is like my favorite highlighter of all time. It wasn't that expensive. I paid, I think like $28 at the CCO. So I got it cheaper than it was retail. Um, a funny little story on my way home, I was, you know, with a friend shopping and I was just like on cloud nine that I had found Estee Lauder Heat Wave at a CCO, right? And she's just like kind of looking at me like I'm crazy, right? She's not that into makeup. And I'm like, you don't understand. I'm, I'm like, this highlighter is so coveted. It sells for like over $150 on eBay. She turns to me and she's like, why didn't you buy the whole damn stack? And I'm like, well, 
it was so exciting for me that I was I was really hoping I didn't want to hoard them and I was really hoping I was like I want somebody else to have that feeling you know I really hope that somebody else walks in there and gets excited and gets together I was like two is enough two will last me a lifetime I'm not trying to be greedy and take these if you do that if you buy things and sell them for more that is fine that is your right I'm not saying I will never do it but in that moment I just I just wanted to leave that little bit of joy for somebody else someday I'm, this is going to be a little extra. I'm quickly going to go over one more little dupe, um, just because, honestly, I don't think I'm going to, I don't really think I want to call this a dupe. I know it's been called a dupe. Um, I'm going to link below the video that I watched because I think she did a very great, great job and I'm not out here to like recreate something that somebody's already done. So I recently watched a video that said that the Sonia Kashik had a dupe for the ever so famous Coco Chanel Soleil Tan Day Chanel. Um, I love this product. I purchased this before I went cruelty free. Um, I absolutely love it. And I was like, okay, well, Sonia Kashuk is cruelty free. So that'll be nice to have a cruelty free option if I ever run out of this. Because if you've ever had one of these, you know this damn thing's gonna last you a lifetime. Like, if I ever run out, that would be nice to know. Um, so she did a video, and she, there's two colors of this. This is, I guess I should show you what I'm talking about. This is the Sonia Kashuk Undetectable Cream Bronzer. I got mine in number 42 Rich Bronze. Um, the other, the one that's technically supposed to be the dupe is number 41, which is the lighter one. And like I said, I will link below her video where she sews swatches, um, and she definitely called it a dupe. But there were some things when I left watching her video that I kind of left me wondering. Um, I was curious. It's kind of like, well, I want to go see this. She didn't really talk about how the formula compares. Um, so I have not swatched this yet because I didn't want to mess up. So one of the things she talks about is how dark it is. Like hers looked way darker before she swatched it. So this is what it looks like before I swatched it. And then let's see if it gets lighter underneath but not, not that much. So the reason I chose to get the darker one is because there are times to me that um, the Chanel version is not quite dark enough. Like when I have a tan, um, this one is not dark enough for me. It doesn't really add any bronzing effect. So if you know, this lid screws off um, and then there's a little thing in here. And because this part, this will last you forever. <sighs> You can use this every day and this thing will last you forever. So I do keep this to just keep the consistency in this correct. Familiar with the Coco Chanel Bronze Universal um, Soleil Tan de Chanel. You'll know this is like a very, um, like, um, it's like a hard mousse. Like, I don't really know how to, to describe this. Um, but it is not as, um, it is with the warmth of your finger, but it, it doesn't get as, um, creamy as this um, Sonia Kashuk one. So I will say that the formula on first kind of like swipe, um, this one feels more creamy, more liquidy. But again, this um, Chanel one, this is just a unique formula. I don't know that I have ever felt a makeup product that really feels like this before. Um, so um, here we go. We're going to give a swatch. So I I'm fully aware that this is going to be darker because like I said, the number 41 is the one that is supposed to be the color that's the dupe for the Chanel one. Um, apparently it's just got a tinge in more of pink, but when you put it on your face, you can't really see it. Um, so I went ahead with this one because since I currently have the Chanel one. So there's what they look like. The darker one is the Sonia Kashuk. And I will say texture wise, making that motion, they feel a lot more similar than they do swirling my finger in the pan. Well, the reason I don't really want to do a separate video on calling this a dupe is A, you know, th that girl already did, I can't remember her name, I'm sorry, um, did a great job on that video, I thought, except for I really left it wondering what, okay, what's the formula difference feel like? Um, I don't really want to call this a dupe. It's a great alternative for me because it's a cruelty-free version. Um, but as she points out in the video, which she didn't go on and do the math, the Chanel one is an ounce, $50 for one ounce. This will last you forever. If you have the $50 and you don't care 
about cruelty-free status and you purchase this, you will not need to replace this product for a very, very long time. I mean, it will be years, even using it every day. So on the Sonia Kashuk version, it is cruelty-free and it does come in two colors. The Chanel one only comes in the, the one color. That's all you get. Um, it doesn't say on the back of the plastic container, um, but I saved the little sticker off of the back of the saran wrap. Let's see if we can get this in focus here. So this is 0.18 ounces, and I'll put the math up here. So it's not really cheaper. You're getting less product, and when you do the per ounce cost, this Sonia Kashuk product is more expensive than the Chanel one. So I have a little bit of a problem calling this a dupe because of that. Yes, it's cheaper if you only have $10 in your pocket right now. I think it's actually like $10.99, but if you, if you only have you know, 10 to $15 to spend, you can go to the store, you can purchase this, it is cruelty free, you can purchase number 41 if you want the color closer to the Chanel one, and you can have a product that gives you the same results. But it's not cheaper, because you're, you're getting less. Um, so technically, if you were to save up your money, you are getting a better deal on Chanel, which I think is kind of insane. Um, probably has a lot to do with packaging and all that I mean so this one I showed you the packaging on this one flips up and it has the product and then there is a mirror below and there is a sponge in here this is not vented so you know this could grow stuff easier if it wanted to um, so there you you get more packaging with this one you get a mirror you get a sponge um, but I just this isn't cheaper, so it's not really a dupe to me. It is a great cruelty-free alternative, and because you are getting less product, you are paying less up front, but it is not cheaper than Chanel. That's end of my rant on that one. Thank you guys for spending some time out of your day with me, and if you don't mind, if you would hit the subscribe or like button, I would really appreciate it. Have a good night.